Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using moment area method. The span of the beam is given as 9 meter. In the beam there is uniformly distributed load 16 kN per meter. It acts in the left half. Then there is a point load 36 kN. It acts at a distance of 6 meter from the left support. Now using movement area method, we are going to find the movements MA and MB. For that we have to convert this fixed beam into a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. In this beam, we have to find the reactions RA and RB. First, let us find RA. For that, I am going to take a moment about to B. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 9. So, 9 RA. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4.5. Then, we have to open a bracket we have to divide the distance by 2 and then we have to add the remaining distance which is 4.5. The point load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. For RA we will get 66. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find RB. RA and RB are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. UDL is acting downwards so that it will be negative and the distance is 4.5. The point load is acting downwards so that it will be negative. For RB we will get 42. For this beam we have to draw the bending moment diagram. You can see that I have drawn the bending moment diagram. From the point B we can find the ordinates under the point D and under the point C because it will be easy. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. 42 into 3, we will get 126. Let us find the ordinate under the point C. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4.5. The point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 1.5. For the ordinate under the point C, we will get 135. Using these two ordinates, we can draw the bending moment diagram. Under the uniformly distributed load, the diagram will be in the parabolic shape. Let us split the diagram into three parts. Let us keep the parabolic part as number 1. Let us keep the trapezoidal part as number 2. And let us keep the triangular part as number 3. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. For the parabolic portion, we have to make a section and then we have to find the moment and then we have to do integration to get the area. You can see that I have made a section xx at a distance of x from the point A. In this section we have to find the moment. We have to use the right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so 66x the udl is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 16 upon 2 it will be 8 x into x we will get x square now let us find area 1 for that we have to integrate mxx with respect to x the limits for the integration is 0 to 4.5. Now we can take a calculator 
and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For area 1, I have got 425.25. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar about the point A. Here also we have to do the integration. But there is only one difference. With the mxx, we have to just multiply x and then do the integration. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 1184.625. Now let us take this trapezoid. Using formulas, we can easily find the area and the centroid distance of this trapezoid. Let us consider a trapezoid having the left side height as A and having the right side height as B and having the span L. The formula to find the area is L upon 2 into A plus B and the formula to find the centroid towards the left is L upon 3 into A plus 2B upon A plus B. Now let us find area 2. Just before we have seen the formula, here L is 1.5, A is 135 and B is 126. For area 2, we will get 195.75. Now let us find area 2 x bar 2. We have already found area 2. Let us apply that. Now we have to find x bar 2. We have seen the formula, but we are finding the centroidal distance about the point A. So we have to add the remaining distance, which is 4.5. Let us apply the values in the formula. L is 1.5, A is 135, and B is 126. For x bar 2, we will get 152 upon 29. Let us apply that. Finally, for area 2 x bar 2, we will get 1026. Now, let us find area 3. We know that it is a triangle. We know the formula to find the area of a triangle half into bh. Here, the breadth is 3 and the height is 126. Let us apply both of them. For area 3, we will get 189. Now let us find area 3, x bar 3. Area 3, we already calculated. Let us apply that. Let us find x bar 3. In this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 upon 3 into B. The breadth is 3. So 1 upon 3 into 3. Then we have to add the remaining distance. The remaining distance is 4.5 plus 1.5. So it will be 6. For area 3 x bar 3, we will get 1323. Now let us find the area of mu diagram. For that we have to add these 3. After adding, we will get 810. Then let us find the moment of mu diagram area. For that we have to add these three. After adding, we will get 3533.625. Now let us draw the mu dash diagram. Let us assume that the moment MA is greater than MB. We know that it is a trapezoid. We know the formula to find the area in the trapezoid. Also, we know the formula to find the centroid distance towards the left side. Now let us find the area. Here L is 9, A is MA and B is MB. 9 upon 2 it will be 4.5. Now using this formula let us find the centroid distance about the point A. Here L is 9, A is MA and B is MB. 9 upon 3, it is 3. Now let us find the moment of mu dash diagram area. For that, we have to multiply the area with the centroid distance. We can eliminate MA plus MB. 4.5 into 3, we will get 13.5. 
Now let us equate area of mu dash diagram and area of mu diagram so that we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Then let us equate moment of mu dash diagram area and moment of mu diagram area. When we do that, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now we can solve these two equations using the calculator. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For MA, I have got 98.25 and for MB, I have got 81.75. We have calculated the moments in the points A and B. Now we are going to find the vertical reactions R A and R B. First, let us find R A. For that, I am going to take moment about to B. R A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 9. So 9 R A. The moment M A is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4.5. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide the distance by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance which is 4.5. The point load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. The moment MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for RA we will get 67.833 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RB. R A and R B are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards, so that it will be negative and the distance is 4.5. The point load is acting downwards, so it is also negative. For R B, we will get 40.167 kN. Now let us find the shear force values. I have found the shear force values from the point A. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the shear force values, we can draw the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes 0. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that I have made a section in that point at a distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section the shear force is 0. Using that concept we can find x. For x we will get 4.24 meter. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. The moment MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4.24. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the uniformly distributed load we have to multiply the distance and a distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment, we will get 46.22. Now let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have the moment MA, which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Now let us find the moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. R A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 
the uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2 for the bending moment at c we will get 45 to find the bending moment in the point b and in the point d we can use the left hand side rule let us find the bending moment in the point b in the point b we have mb which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative now let us find the bending moment at d in the point b we have mb which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative the vertical reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3 for the bending moment at d we will get 38.75 here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. These two points are called the points of contraflexure. Now, in the points of contraflexure, let us make sections and find the distances. You can see that I have made two sections. The first section I have made at a distance of x from the point A and the second section at a distance of x from the point b using right hand side rule we can take a moment about this section and get the value of x then using left hand side rule we can take a moment about this section and to find the value of this x let us apply both of them alternatively we can draw the bending moment diagram by combining mu diagram and mu dash diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.